Hey guys, uh, today we're just taking a look at the Dell uh, SK Hynix RAM that I picked up from Dell directly. These are the DDR5 upgrade kits. They're 16 gigabytes of stick. Um, I don't, I believe the web page for it has been taken down, unfortunately. Uh, I, I bought, I'll be honest, I bought a lot of these. Um, I tried to get 20, I couldn't get 20. Um, so I got 10, but you know, that's enough for like three or four builds, right? Um, but the main thing is, uh, they don't have an XMP profile, but according to ASUS, if you have a ROG board, you can run the extreme, ex sorry, the ASUS extreme memory profile. And what that does is it allows you to run RAM that has no XMP with an XMP profile. So if you look in the ASUS BIOS, which I'll show later, it has the, um, you know, all sorts of memory profiles already built in for Hynix, Samsung, Micron, etc. So, if you guys didn't know, the a lot of the higher end RAM this time is SK Hynix for now. Okay, traditionally we're all on the Samsung train, but right now we're on the SK Hynix train. So, these are SK Hynix, but they are green since Dell, you know, they don't really care, right? So, what I did to pretty them up was I put the Monarch on there. These are the EK Monarch heat sinks. You can use $10 heat sinks from Amazon. You can use old heat sinks from your old RAM, whatever works for you. But no matter what you do, uh, make sure you use the right pads, right? You don't want pads that are too thick. You don't want pads that are too thin because then you don't have any contact. So since I am overclocking these with XMP, that is overclocking, um, you know, it's good that I have a heat sink on here. So to cover up most of the green, the Monarch does its job. But as you can see, the Monarch is not long enough to cover the ICs completely either, right? So, but that's okay, we won't see that. But it cools most of it. Um, it would be lovely if they made a DDR5 version, which I believe they will once there is wide enough adoption of DDR5. I know Bitspower has DDR5 already, um, but that's, that's a whole nother story, okay? So let's get these on here. So what I'm going to do is so let me get this here plugged in like so, okay. And you can tell once I get them on there, it's kind of hard to see from my angle. You still have the green tabs on the top, you still have the green tabs on the bottom, but this is this is not a big deal, okay? It's, it's not a big deal at all. Reason being is uh, there's always a solution to these problems, and my solution is I created a little cover, okay, uh, in Fusion 360. Touch a little EK logo, because EK product, right? And these tabs will cover the green areas, and once I slide them on, they will look very pretty, and you won't be, it's just pure tension. Okay, I've designed it to have almost very small tolerance, so it can just kind of just snap right into place. Oh, sorry, let's get that. It's kind of hard to see from above. Let me make sure I have it tucked in. Okay, so you can tell, you can only see the green on the sides now, right? can't really see the green on here because once the block AIO is in the way. And if I add on the dim.2, which I will try to get on from this angle that I cannot see. All right, there we go, dim.2 on. Now you can see there's no green on the side either. So there's no green on the top, no green on the bottom, just a little bit over here. And I think it looks great. I think that does the job aesthetically speaking. Um, and, you know, granted, you could probably paint this if you have a 3D printer, you can sand and paint. I, I don't want to go through all that hassle. I think it looks good as is. I'll probably just leave it. Um, I'll take you guys into the BIOS now. We'll run the AEMP. We'll see if it works. Um, I believe it should work. And I think this is, this is what I was saying. Like, ASUS always kind of has these cool things. I don't know if this works on Aorus. I have to try it. But um, this is one reason why I buy ASUS boards, even though I don't like the pricing of this gen at all. Uh, this is pretty cool, but I do believe, once again, you have to have a ROG board, I think, for it to unlock, okay? If you have a non-ROG board, I don't know if it works, because I don't buy non-ROG boards, to be honest with you, so I can't even test it. But, yeah, so let's get into the BIOS. Here we go, guys, we're in the BIOS. Um, we can see the RAM should be running on auto. Uh, if we go down to the SPD information, we can see that uh, these are SK Hynix. As it says on the stick itself, 
16 gigabytes of stick, 4800 maximum bandwidth, and we have 40, 39, 39, 77, 116. Uh, I believe this is the same as the other 4800s, like Crucial, etc. Um, I don't think all of them, not, not every listing has all the timings. But uh, with the ASUS ROG boards, uh, what I was saying was you can come here and go to AI Overclock Tuner. You're trying to ASUS Enhanced Memory Profile, uh, AEMP, and this unlocks the RAM. Uh, you see you have 4800, uh, which I believe is a standard, but it, you know the timings are better at 32. Uh, but we'll try the 6000. And then uh, I think there's even more if I go to advanced. Uh, let's see somewhere here it's been a while um if i go to advanced memory overclocking yeah okay if i go to dram timing control we can go to memory presets and you can see that there's m default memory profiles uh we'll do the load high next at 6000 okay this will overclock a little bit more and then there's another 6200 profile which i guess you could try ln2 hynix and um I chose these because it's two by 16 single rank, okay? And then if we come down to the to memory overclocking, I think we might be able to see it's, it's running at 36, 35, 34, 52. So that's also overclocked some more. And then with the ASUS boards, you can just go straight into mem test right away. And it saves you the trouble of, you know, booting into Windows. Could do it right from the BIOS. Super nice. And I'll let that run. And we'll see how stable it goes. Here we go, guys. Uh, this is after running mem test at the 6000 uh, timings and speed. Um, you can ignore the RAM info. It's not accurate. But um, we'll just exit this now. So, guys, we're in Windows. Uh, on the left here... I have the original um, the results when I ran the uh, <clears throat> right out the box, uh, whatever 4800 that it was running on. And then now we're just going to do a quick test of it with the uh, 6000 profile uh, in the BIOS. Um, I was able to pass mem test perfectly fine, like four rounds. I haven't tried to push it further. I did try to push it to 6200, it wouldn't boot. So obviously that's gonna take some more manual work that I haven't looked into. I haven't really read much into overclocking DDR5. So, but this is just simple in the BIOS, tap, tap, uh, run a mem test, check for stability. And now, you know, quick bench. And so far it's looking like we gained quite a amount, bit amount of speed can tell on the read you know we went up by like what is that uh, 19 writes gone up about 15 copy about 20 and latency has gone down quite a bit so you can see that you know this is a very nice improvement and pretty much you only took two taps inside the BIOS so if you aren't able to get the fancy G skills or whatever it may be. I mean, at the end of the day, those are all just pre overclocked, you know, memory with the profile. Uh, honestly speaking, you know, they're, they're just binned RAM chips. If you guys didn't know, they're, they're not any different. They're just binned. Okay. So sometimes even if you buy uh, a set that's rated lower, you might be able to squeeze more out of it. Uh, there are guys who, Spent a lot of time doing memory overclocking and you know they, they can teach you a lot more about that but as you can see that's a good amount of performance gain uh, pretty much thanks to the feature on the rog boards um if you i don't know if this works on if i can manually do this on the uh ors boards i know the asus board allows you to do this because it unlocks the ic um i don't know if you could do that on the ors board i'd have to try uh, but this is pretty cool and uh, thanks for watching and take care.